What I want to do is take a look at um, internal control relays, or what some people refer to as bits. Right now, these two rungs are setting and resetting a physical Y out in a rack somewhere. Now, over here in the address picker, if I go look, we did some things with X's, we did some things with Y's. How about a C? Well, it can also be referred to as a control relay. Now, understand something, it's not a physical relay in the PLC, it's a bit. But it acts like a control relay. So I've got thousands of control relays in here to use in my code. So let me go over here to this rung. I'm going to double click and I'm going to type in C1. And over here on the reset command, I'm going to type in, double click and type in C1. So now a moment ago, the PLC was controlling a physical Y001. That's a physical point on a card that turns something on or off physically out in the real world, what we refer to as the real world. This is a logical world. This C stays internally to the PLC, and I can use that C in a, in a run later on to prove whether it's on or off. For example, I can use C1 here as a normally open contact along with some other contacts to control something else in code. But for right now, I just want to demonstrate. I'm going to delete it with the delete key. I want to demonstrate how this works. And what you'll notice is it works very, very similar to the Y, except the Y turns on a physical output in a card, the C does not. So now watch this. I'm going to flip X001 on. C1 sets to the on state. If I push X002, C1 drops out. If I flip the switch, C1 sets on. Now, if I unplug the power, let's see what this does. When I plug the power back in, it reset. Well, let's go look at the address picker again. When I go look at the C's, they're all set to be non-retentive. Now, again, if you remember, I can click here and I can make this retentive if I would like to, but the factory setting is they're non-retentive, so they don't remember where they were. So basically what I did is I took a ladder rung that was controlling a Y, which is a physical, real-world output to some device, such as a solenoid or motor. I replaced it with a C, which is an internal bit, not a physical that goes to the real world, not a physical address that goes out to the real world and turns something on. But I can then use this C in return later on in code to perform some other action for me. So that's the beginning of where we start using the C's internally in the PLC to do other functions for us in ladder.